All right, technically this is take two, but you guys won't see the first take. Um, that's okay. Um, this video kind of has been kind of an inspired type video. And the reason why it is because I am concerned. Maybe it's just me. Sorry, I'm out of the frame. Maybe it's just me. Um, okay, first I'm gonna say I'm in the middle of cleaning my apartment, but I got inspired to do a video, so this is a clean up, getting clean up. Uh, a clean up chit chat video. I know most people don't do these. I'm a little different from my videos, so I don't care. Um, my thing is, uh, what's bothered me, especially uh, lately, and notice it, especially with us single people. Why is it so hard to be able to to go out and do things by themselves? Like I'll, I mean, it's about to get loud. Sorry guys, I've been trying to avoid this thing, but these people getting on my nerves from this cleaning up thing. Ooh, I'm losing weight. I must not have this back on. It's just pants. I'm literally wearing a belt because my pants don't fit anymore. Okay, so if we can go to the store by ourselves, why can't we go out to dinner or a movie by ourselves? Why is what is the thing that is people are afraid of? I feel like this, even if you're married or you're in just in a dating relationship. Um, you should be able to take the time to um, spend with yourself. You can't you can't always be together all the time because being together all the time it gets frustrating. You're gonna get into arguments. You're gonna get into fights. You're gonna get a like like all we do is hang out together. I mean, in the newlywed stages, which I call it like the beginning part of a relationship. Um, yeah, you're gonna want to try to spend as much time much time together because you're gonna kind of in some way wanting to get to know each other then um after a while you're gonna be like wanting to kind of do your own thing but then you like people are just afraid to say that and i just don't get it as to why like i'm not going to say who but i know somebody that um I guess we could say she's tired of being she's tired of being single. And no, this is not a I, I know a friend and it ended up being me. Me, no, I'm happy with where I'm at right now because I am still getting to know myself. I am getting to know who I am, what I want in my life, and what am I looking for. And I am not the part of like a woman who is going to settle for anything less than what um I want and what God has for me. I know most of you guys don't believe in God or have God in your life, but I do, and I don't have any shame of that. And I don't, I don't. If you don't have God in your life, um, it's not like I'm not. I'm gonna be like you're wrong for that because that's not me. I feel like everybody has a journey to wherever they need to be, whatever they want to be, and that's that's where you should be. This is my path. This is a path I've looked for. I'm excited about my path and things like that. So my thing is, um, like I'll say, so the friend that I know, um, I don't know her that well. It's just more of a Facebook friend that we became friends from a common interest of selling Avon. Um, she always talks about the same old thing, like she's lonely. She wants to... She feels like Mr. Wright is not going to come to her and, it's, and things like that. And then my thing is people encourage her to come on, step out of your comfort zone. That's what you need to do. Step out of your comfort zone and take the chance. And I told her, you, you're going to have to get out of being, you uh, you got to quit making being shy as an excuse to hinder who you are and where you're supposed to be in life. Um, like even for her business, I mean, like she uses being shy, like all the things I feel like she, Everything she's been saying, she's been making excuses like dangers in the world. Get it? I get it. They, there are going to be, there's always going to be an unsafe environment in this world. But you can't let it stop you from growing as a person. You can't let it stop you from um, and taking risks and taking chances out here. Yeah, this is the part where you learn your lessons. And I'm like thinking like this, this chick is older than me. How is she not like taking this journey i'm like i have for most of my life have been shy of like taking like i you would never like before you would never see myself saying that yes i want to do this and i want to do that and i will always be afraid um of consequences and things like that and but i feel like lately i feel like the, um I 
went through these things. Oh, can I let the bill? Uh, I went through these things and went through these challenges and things like that. And I learned that and if I want to, if I want something in life strong enough, I, I gotta, I gotta change my routine. And I'm sitting here and I'm trying to tell her, yeah, you gotta kind of change your routine. You gotta get out there. You gotta take, you gotta take that thing. And my thing is, she always be like, well, yeah, I'm lonely and things like that. And I want to be able to find somebody. And it's like, I'm shy, blah, blah, blah. Why do we use the things that, why do we do, use, do things to hinder ourselves? Why do we feel like you do realize, be, I mean, I, I hear this I'll, I know a lot of people are shy. A lot of people are afraid to step out of the comfort zone. I've been that way. I'm still on some some levels that way when it comes to um, when it comes to like taking chances. I'm still like a shy, but I do take the I, I I do work on taking the steps to getting out of that because I don't want to be shy for the rest of my life. But I'm like I feel like this, and I noticed that. It, uh, I got out of the, I got out of the biggest portion of it, and I'm still like willing to it. Like she was like, well, I don't do online dating because um, you, you never know. Which part that means is true. I tried a few dating sites, and most of them I didn't even really fully try try on there because I was like, no, nope, I don't want to do it. I just don't. It just it just just didn't feel right for me to do an online dating site. Like like um, the last one that I did met a guy turn out I thought was great and then turn out to didn't have the one major qualification that I look for and totally totally realized that he ended up being kind of in a, in a needy sort of way of um of, of things and wouldn't was sort of understanding but didn't understanding but I'm thinking that he wanted something thing that I told myself that I was not doing so like the part of of it being like when we started dating um yeah I, that that was my beginning journey of being celibate so that wasn't we was not happening of having a relations like that but um my thing is my, my main point in this video is <sighs> we should not be afraid to do things by ourselves and I'm not talking about sitting not necessarily a sitting I mean even if it's just sitting alone in your apartment watching Netflix I do that and like um I would say take one day out of the month and do something that's just you whether you go out to the movies you go out to dinner and I'm talking about going out to dinner sitting at a table and like yes yeah I'm, I'm sitting by myself I mean I've I've seen this guy come in at my job um, not every week, but he frequently comes in and he comes in to have dinner by himself. There's people who come in and have dinner by themselves. They sit at a table, not even at a bar, they sit at a table. I feel like this, even if you're afraid to sit at a table, go, go sit at a bar and sit at the bar thing. If you're not a drinker, I just say sit at a table. But even if you, I feel like, just take your time. I mean, sit down and get to know yourself. Go through your old things. You know, remember the time of the things that you've done in your life and things like that. I've been cleaning up and found a lot of things that I do and things like that. Like this container here has all my Avon stuff in it. It has my uh, pins. It has um, my old Avon business cards and things like that. And it just reminds me of... Um, because I change my business cards usually every six months to a year to kind of keep it fresh, keep it updated, and, and things like that. And then I go through these. Ooh, I need, I need this because I got to put it in campaign seven order anyway. And so um, I go through things, and what I don't want, I throw out. But my thing is, um, plus I, I see things like when I first got this, I was excited about it. It was good for the... Uh, thing um best wishes necklace must be not a necklace that broke um my my thing is um a lot of the time that uh we we want to we when, especially when we're single we want to like go ahead and step out of the comfort zone but nobody wants to really will it to do it but my thing is you can't complain about being single and and things like that. My thing is, the first journey 
uh, the first journey before even decide before even putting yourself into a relationship is take the time to get to know you to get to know what you want and not settle I feel like this the worst thing you can do is being single and you're being feeling like because you're so lonely and the first thing you do is taking a step on dating dating getting the getting inter when the first person is interested in you you're like bam I made that mistake multiple times and that's why I learned from it and that's why I learned from I feel like if the person's not willing to let me let's for willing for us to truly get to know each other before even considering it being a friendship considering being a, a boyfriend and girlfriend in the future or anything of attraction I can't be with them and I feel like most people are like you're gonna be single for the rest of your life if that's in God's plan that's in God's plan but my plan is I'm not going to rush into anything until I'm ready. And I really wish that a lot of people, a, a lot of us, especially single people, to step out of the comfort zone. You got to get out of being shy. And I know you, you, you have to take it baby steps. But with this person, I told them that, and then they, like, still complaining about the same thing. And I feel like, and then I realized you're, she's, she's making an excuse to... She's keep making an excuse and using the excuses to to not be able to do anything. And I feel like um, she's never going to get to to take that journey if she's going to always be making excuses and being afraid to uh, take the journey. And I'm like, everybody tells her the same thing. I feel like you would think the the door. Um, I need to listen to something. Somebody's telling me something that I. Um, want to hear and it's just like why do we why do we do that to ourselves why do we feel that um you know i mean here's the thing there was times where i was afraid of being single that i was afraid that um i was never going to be with anybody um once i started focusing on myself I started my journey of focusing on myself and started doing things for myself start freaking out what i wanted what i truly wanted and not just be like, I just want to not be single. I feel like what I truly wanted out of somebody in my life. And I feel like if I want to date somebody, I want to date to pop for somebody to a true courtship in a form of a long term relationship. And um, a lot of people, you have to realize a lot of people are going to sometimes say the things that you want to hear just so they can get what they want. And then you also got to think about it is too that some people just truly don't want want that kind of thing. And then I realized also through my journey that the people that I thought I had attraction for are not it was not the attraction of a relationship. It was attraction of something that was back basically back in my old ways. And I feel like that would have gave me back to the circle of being back to where I am. So I was like, no, let's not put myself through that. Let's put myself through something of appreciating myself and, you know, things like that. But my thing is, I feel like all of us should take this challenge of taking a night, a one day out of the month where we go out to dinner by ourselves or a movie or, um, just something to do by yourself, even if you're just a uh, start of sitting at home by yourself, meaning no cell phones, no, you know, no sitting up for t texting like team hashtag team by myself thing. No, please don't do that. Just something simply by yourself and enjoy yourself. I mean, you can probably like, um, I would say document that, take a picture and be like, um, I'm, I'm doing something different and out of my comfort zone but I feel like being afraid of doing that I'm like I'm curious as to some of you guys who watch watch my videos or whatever or who come across this video please explain to me as to why is it so hard to be by yourself I mean I would say let's see, 2016 yeah 2016 so I say it's literally probably been a little bit over a year since my last relationship um and like I said with that guy it did not end well um he he told he it, it was led to be that he was this one thing the one thing that he told he had told me about and I'm thinking that he okay it would have been perfect because then 
you know, we have that in common. And then, then when things kind of got a little bit of a difficult rough patch early on, it turned out that he, he was basically a wolf in sheep's clothing. So my thing is, um, that's when I decided that I, my journey has stopped me from making a huge mistake, and I'm so glad for it. It's a lesson that I learned and things like that. But I feel like I want to do this as a series, um, as being single series, as a let's do this together and learn how we can get, how we can, um, from what my journey experience of learning how to do things by yourself and kind of learn who you are as a person and what you can be, um, like the little simple things that you probably would be forgotten about, like thing, like let's not be these people that it be, we need to have a relationship, it's because we're single. You know, figure out what you want in a relationship first. And I feel like I might do do this as a series. If you guys think it'd be, be kind of cool to do it as a series, I can do, I can do it as a series. And do, like, pinpoints of things that I, I went through of a journey to be okay with myself and be okay with going out and doing things by myself. And, and, and I mean, it's not, like, desperate template. It's not sad. I feel like... You should, I stop listening to what society thinks of me as a person being single and going out being single. And I'm like, you it's not going out to look for somebody. It's, you know, going out, getting, re-getting to know yourself. Because a lot of people, especially for those who have been in relationships off and on and heartache off and on, you kind of want to know um, as a person why things happen the way they are and then work on making that changes and I, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that I think of in the in the probably like couple of two or three video t tops if that of a, of a journey of discovery I guess you say I'm not an expert but I feel like this is what I went through to become okay with who I am and things like that so um if you guys wanted me to do it I'll do it if, I might just do it anyway. Um, sorry that this video is longer. I just kind of had a little bit about this friend, and I feel like she's still doing the same old things. And I feel like I'm just this video is. Um, I'm just gonna name this video "Stop Being Afraid" because I feel like that's the main ticket right there that a lot of people are and things like that. And I feel like it's. It's it's annoying to me because I've been I guess I kind of can say I've been there where they I've been where they were and and I feel like we gotta quit that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna time to still clean up and see you guys later. Bye.